In this video, we will look at the difference between eukaryotic and prokaryotic flagella. Prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells can both use long, thin, flexible structures called flagella for movement in aqueous environment. Among animal cells, sperm cells are the only ones that have a flagellum. However, many protozoans have flagella for movement in the environment. For example, we will discuss the disease giardiasis, which is caused by a flagellated protozoan, Giardia intestinalis. Flagella are very common among bacteria. This will be of significance later in the semester when we discuss how bacteria that cause urinary tract infections can use their flagella to swim up the urinary tract and cause kidney infections, which can be very serious. Although the term flagella is used for similar looking structures in prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells, there are important differences. The one most commonly overlooked is the difference in size. Remember that, assuming a spherical shape, the radius of a prokaryotic cell is 50 times smaller than that of a eukaryotic cell. This means that prokaryotic flagella are much smaller than eukaryotic flagella. Eukaryotic flagella are extensions of the cell. The cell membrane extrudes outwards and long bundles of thin filaments immersed in cytoplasm run lengthwise in the flagella. The filament bundles slide along each other resulting in a wave-like movement of the flagella. In contrast, prokaryotic flagella are made entirely of proteins. Multiple proteins from the basal body, which consist of rings that are embedded in the cell membrane, anchoring the flagella. Another set of proteins form the hook, which is bent at an angle of roughly 90 degrees and attaches to the basal body. Proteins called flagellin form a long, hollow cylinder attached to the hook. Flagella can have as many as 50,000 flagellin proteins. One way to think about prokaryotic flagella is as flexible straws attached to a rotor embedded in the membrane via a bent adapter. The rings of the basal body rotate in the membrane. The movement is transferred via the hook to the flagella, which rotate 360 degrees. If the rotor turns counterclockwise, the flagella causes the prokaryote to swim in a straight line. If the rotor turns clockwise, the prokaryote tumbles and changes direction.